Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this photo style phone template. So let's get started. this tutorial I'll be using an iPhone 6 template which we will need to open so here's the template I'll be using there will be a link in the description for exact files I'm using if you would like to follow along so go over to the layers panel create a new layer first I'm going to make a background layer and fill it with black. And the way I do it is make sure your black palette here photo bucket make sure you're on the this layer panel and click and it's all black. Um, you'll want to drag the template layer to the top so you'll be able to see it. Okay. Um, click the pointer tool and first we'll need to make the first box and a new layer and we'll name this top image All right. okay click the box tool or rectangle tool create a box This will be the placeholder for your image. And I want to change the color, the fill color, to like a light brown. Any color really. Because this won't, the color won't show through. And then create a layer above it. And name it top image here. And then if you hold Alt and hover between the two layers, you'll see this arrow pointing down to the layer. You're basically linking that layer to this one or creating a clipping mask. Then if you click on the top layer, once well it's top image here, then go to File. place go to where your images are at which mine are in the iPhone 6 YouTube template and I want to make the download one top layer actually no let's make the happy woman the top layer they'll bring it in here which you won't be able to see it until you drag it up and you can see her face isn't really in there what you can do is scale it a little bit and then hit the check mark or you can hit enter either one to place it and if you wanted to say this isn't big enough for your image like your image is longer than what you need it to be you can go to the top image layer here hit control then T for transfer, transform, and then you can size it and it'll show your image. But if you size it too much, then your image isn't clipped off. So you could put it right there. Hit the check mark again. And then you can create another layer. You'd want this one under the top one. Then name it left, middle, or let's name it left, second, row, second, row, left. 
Then on this layer, you'd want to create another box. By clicking and dragging somewhere towards the middle. Eh. I created a marquee. We want the box layer. I mean the box tool. And then fill it with the same brown. Or same color you had. And then you want to create a layer above it. Name it second row left image. Then you go to select that layer, go to file, place, and find your second image, which we will use this one, the family. Place it. Hit your check mark. Then you want to hover in between the two images and holding Alt, then click. You see that it is not right yet. So if you click on the family layer here, Control T for transform, scale it down, move it up, find out where you would want it. That looks good. So let's check. Then you want to do the same again. Create a new layer, drag it down. Name this second row right. Then get your rectangle tool. Change the fill to your color. Whatever color you want it to be. Try to get these even. It's a little off, but we can fix that in a little bit. And create a new layer above it. Actually, the new one, this doesn't really matter because once you place the image, it's going to change it again. We can go back and change those later if you want. Or you can leave them the same. So this box is actually a little bit too big. So if you hit Control T for transform, move it down a little bit and move it over a little bit. Bring this in about there. Okay. Then you would go to the layer that you have above it. You can go on and do the Alt. And then do the clipping mask. I believe that's what it's called. And go to File, Place, place your next image, which we will do the girl four. Place that's the next one. Track her up. Scale her down a little bit. You can hit enter or the check mark. Alright, looking good. Then make a new layer below. Whoop. Wrong button. If you hold control and then click a new layer, it makes a layer below. That's what I was trying to figure out a minute ago. And then name this middle image. Middle row might be a little bit better. Then go back to your rectangle tool. Fill color is already brown. We set it last time. That's about good. Now let's make a layer above it, then hold Alt and click between the two layers. Then with this layer selected, go to File, Place, find your next image. We're going to do the Download 1, 
hit place. Move it down. To about right there. This one's actually a little bit too small. If you see, if you hold and control, then plus you can zoom in. But I want it where this white, the image is to the edge of, about like that. You can bring this one in a little bit if you want. About right there. So to me that looks good. If you don't want to cut his head off too much, you can do it like that. Then hit your check mark or enter. Zoom back out by hitting control and the minus sign on your keyboard. Then if you hold control, then click the new layer, which is right here. Make a layer below. Then we'll name this bottom left. Then we will go to your rectangle tool. Create another box. Oh, now we're going to create it. We'll zoom back up in a minute. All right, scroll back up. And this one I think was off a little bit too, so just bring it over a little bit to the edge of the of the palette there. All right. I believe this image can be a little bit too big, so let's hit Control T. Move it in a little bit, or around the center point, so the left and right about the same size. That looks about right. Hit enter. You make a layer above it. Then with this one selected, this layer, hold Alt and click between the two layers to link them together. Or clipping mask. You go to File, Place. Then we will place kids model image. Place her in there. She's way too big, so let's scale her down. If you hold control or I mean shift, if you hold shift and then scale, it'll do it proportional. If you don't hold shift you can um, skew it. So always hold shift if you don't want it to be skewed any. Alright, that looks good. And then, make another one. Below this one. By holding control, click the new layer. Go up here to your rectangle tool. Do it again. This will be your last layer. That one's a little bit off too at the bottom. Control T. Scale it down a little bit. Down right there. Move it over just a little bit with the arrow tools. Down one. And then make a layer above it. Hold Alt again. Make those two together. Go to File, Place. So we'll place our last image, which is the girl. Hit Place is way too big as well so let's hold shift and scale her down if you want, we can move her up a little bit that looks good now that you got them all let's rename this bottom right you can go back and name these either Bottom, whatever you want to name really. Right, image. Or you can keep the same so you know which which photos there that you've brought in. And that's basically how. The only thing you would want to do now is to make the gap in between these. I think it's better to have a gap in between them than to have them all together, so they're not looking like they are one big image. So if you have. Um, a little bit of space in between it kind of separates them but you want to try to make the same gap so if you want to if you don't have your rulers up here you can hold control R to bring up your rulers and then you can drag these down to make sure that they are the tops of the images are about aligned 
And if they aren't, say this one is too far up. About like that. Then you can just click the layer. If you press your arrow down, it'll bring it down to the top of the line, which is right there. And I zoomed in by pressing Control and plus sign. And let's do the same thing at the bottom. Which you see this one is actually down too far from this one. So let's fix that. By clicking on this layer here. And then you want the you don't want the image layer, you want the, the box because that's where the image is placed on too. Hit the arrow up a little one. Right there. Then we'll do the same with the bottom. Make sure they are the same. Which it looks like they are. And then we'll zoom out. And you wanna what I would do is also do the ones here. Normally I would want these to be straight aligned as well. You don't have to. That's just something I do. I think it looks a little bit better. A little more uniform. So if you hit click on this one, because it needs to go to the left. No, the right. <laughs> Let's go to the right some. So hit control T. And we'll move it to that line. And now. Hit the check mark. Same on this one. You want to do it on the bottom left layer, not the image layer. If you did it on the image layer, you wouldn't be able to see anything because that's where the image stops at. So, you want to do it on the box rectangle layer and bring it over some. Now that the image isn't on it, you can see the brown underneath. You need to make the image a little bit bigger. So we control T on the image layer. And all I'm doing is clicking on the layer and it is selecting that layer. Then bring it up some. Actually bring it over a little bit just so you know you got it. But it won't show it. Alright. Then zoom out. If you go to view clear guides, it'll clear all your guides off for you. And that's basically it. The only thing I would do is try to make the gaps in between same size. And by doing that, you would just size these up a little bit. Kind of like that. I don't like too much black in between. Eh, move the wrong one. I don't like too much black in between myself. So if you just want to go around and mess with these, trying to get all of them about the same. In between. And that's basically it. So we will see you on the next tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you the next time.